Welcome to this Draw My Life about Chernobyl. Probably most of you don't know anything about what happened on April 26th of 1986, but that particular day, the worst accident in the history of nuclear power occurred in Chernobyl, Ukraine. The reactor number four of the nuclear power plant called Vladimir Ilyich Lenin suffered a catastrophic power increase, leading to explosions in its core and causing victims and natural damages that remain until this day. The event occurred during a late night safety test, which simulated a station blackout power failure, in the course of which safety systems were intentionally turned off. They tried this test a few times before unsuccessfully, and this time it wasn't successful either. However, the consequences were terrible. This disaster was the result of several mistakes. First of all, the time of the test was delayed until the night, so it was carried out by workers that had never worked on this test before and were not qualified enough. That's why they did not follow the security measures. Secondly, the protection system was not ready to put up with these consequences. Now let's try to explain in a very simple way what happened inside of the nuclear power plant of Chernobyl. First, the steam to the turbines was shut off, beginning a rundown of the turbine generator. This also happened during the previous test. That's why the cooling current reached the turbines and the water flow rate decreased leading to increased formation of steam voids in the core and causing the steam explosion, which lifted the cover off the top of the reactor and left the graphite exposed. The contact of the graphite with the air caused a second explosion. The radioactive material was released into the atmosphere. The firefighters of the power plant and of the nearest city immediately responded to the reactor accident, but they were not aware about the dangers they were exposed to and that they would die weeks after. They put out all the fires except the one in the reactor floor that lasted for several days. At first, no one was aware about the nuclear consequences of these explosions. 600,000 people helped cleaning the area, and they were called liquidators. They could stay in the area for no longer than two or three minutes to avoid the radiation. Over 60,000 of them died, and over 165,000 got sick. Pripyat is a city located three kilometers away from the power plant, and it was founded to serve the nearby Chernobyl. 53,000 people were living there at the moment of the accident. After the explosion, the residents were still sleeping. They were not evacuated until 24 hours after the accident occurred. They were not even informed about the danger of this situation. They had been exposed to a huge amount of radiation during more than a whole day. At midday, a lot of children started to feel sick, so doctors began to suspect. When the investigators arrived, they confirmed what the problem was. On the morning of the 27th, the residents were evacuated and they were told they would be able to return after three days. The 5th of May, all the surroundings had been evacuated. Even though at first, this accident didn't have any media impact, the consequences had been terrible. 30 people died because of the explosion, but 600,000 got sick or died because of the radiation. The radiation caused malformations, cancer and several sick organs. The radiation spread around a big part of Europe, but the most affected countries were Belarus, Ukraine and Russia. Several days after, the damaged reactor was sealed in a sarcophagus intended to contain the remaining radiation. It was very hard because the radiation was still being released. Nowadays, a new sarcophagus is being built over the reactor because the old one was already damaged, and this one will last over a hundred years. Anyway, the area is monitored and there's a 30 km exclusion zone around Chernobyl. 31 years after, we have to keep working on getting rid of all the radioactivity. Even if nowadays there are a lot of new species of animals and plants living in the area, investigators estimate that humans won't be able to live in the damaged area within 2,000 years. Even though, there are some people that decided to come back and live in the area in spite of the radiation. After the Chernobyl accident and the Fukushima disaster, Society is wondering if we should keep power plants even if we know that they can be very dangerous for us. We hope you liked today's Straw My Life, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and write in the comment section down below what you think about nuclear power. See you on the next video!